What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another budget build. As you guys can see, I have here today AMD Ryzen 3 1300X build. Now I wish I had a Ryzen 1200, not a 1300X, because you can save like almost $30, and you can spend the money on your graphics card or like, you know, SSD or something. But that's the only CPU I had laying around. Now guys, I wanted to build this PC under $600, so I went with some used parts and some new parts. Now, overall guys, the system is performing really well and definitely a great uh, gaming PC for someone who is looking to play a 1080p game or light 1440p or maybe ultra wide 2560 by 1080 but today I'll be showing you guys like the 1080p uh, gaming benchmark. So let's just real quick jump into the parts list. So the case I picked up for this build, NZXT S340 Elite case, I know guys that's a $100 case but guys this case is my all time favorite, doesn't matter which build you put in this case as long you have some RGB going on, the case looks so nice. Now guys, 2017, you gotta have some RGBs. You can't build a PC without RGB. So I picked up some AMZ Tronics uh, RGB fans from Amazon for $39.99. You can circle through like seven colors and that's about it. I got a pretty good deal on a Samsung 850 EVO, uh, 250 gig SSD, picked it up from Wevi.com. Paid around $60. Now you guys can check out Wevi.com. They got some great deal on used parts like graphics card, a CPU, uh, laptop and uh, SSD and stuff so I think uh, for $60 850 Evo from Samsung and Samsung SSDs are really reliable so I had two cards laying around GTX 1050 Ti and the RX 470 and I was a bit confused which card I should use for this build but then again I was like you know it's AMD build so, so I should go with a AMD card Now I picked up this card from Facebook for $120 $100 was for the card and $20 for the shipping the reason the person sold me this card for so cheap because the card virus was like break so I uh, managed to flush uh, sapphire uh, nitrous virus and the card is running flawlessly so the RAMs and the cooler I had laying around so the RAM I'm using for this build Corsair Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz RAM I have managed to uh, overclock this RAM to around 3200 MHz and the cooler as you guys can see I have the Quarig M9 i cooler it's about $20 uh, cooler you can pick it up from uh, Newegg but you have to uh, buy the M4 bracket that's extra uh, $5 also, the motherboard I have in this build, Asus Prime B350M-M motherboard, great motherboard. I know, I know, you guys are wondering which power supply I'm using, right? So I'm using an EVGA 450W VV power supply. It's a perfect power supply for GTX 1060, uh, RX 480, RX 570, RX 580. You know, even you can run a GTX 1070. Now I picked up this power supply from Newegg when it was on sale for around $21 I remember and I remember picking up like two of these power supply for around uh, 40 something dollar. So guys the only reason I went with those white uh, PSU uh, cable uh, extensions uh, as you guys can see the white extension I have just to match the build because uh, I had those laying around there's no need to spend that extra $30 because the PSU I have EVGA 450 watt VV uh, PSU already comes with all black cable so there's no need to spend that extra money uh, overall it does give the build like a nice uh, you know theme and I really I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for the beauty so overall guys uh, if you guys are planning on building a 1080p gaming rig or light 1440p uh, you should be perfectly fine with a Ryzen uh, 1200 CPU or Ryzen 1300 uh, X CPU but I do recommend going with a Ryzen 1200 more than enough and an RX uh, 570 or 580 should be uh, perfectly fine for your build or you can even go with a GTX uh, 1060 3D now guys if you do like this type of video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the uh, an upcoming gaming PC build and stuff so guys uh, that should be it let's not waste any more time and jump into the benchmark <laughs>